On our broadcast tonight, a field in Price County that once produced vegetables now produces solar energy. Take a look at the largest array in the state. Plus, a Northwoods woman represented her company at the White House this week. Hear what she got out of that visit. And last year, a local company showed off its work on a popular HGTV show. Now, they're ready for round two. Your local news starts right now. Your local news and weather from where you live. News Watch 12 at 5 starts now. Good evening. A view from the sky shows row after row of solar panels in the middle of a Price County farm field. The Flambeau Solar Project takes up 22 acres near Phillips. Solar energy now provides power for hundreds of homes and farms nearby. It's something that was just an idea just a few years ago. News Watch 12's Ben Meyer has more in our top story. Almost 10,000 panels, they say. Sally and Ken Denzine look across their Phillips area farm field. Oh, it's beautiful. Thinking about the harvest to come. Harvest on the Denzine farm has come every fall since 1945. We're a dairy farmer, and this has been our cropland. But now this field harvests the sun's rays, not corn, soybeans, or alfalfa. The couple didn't know what to make of a call from an electric company in 2015. It was a, kind of a cold call and you wondered if it was a prank call or not. Multiple companies wanted to build a giant solar array in their field. Cut. Two years later, go. Grow Solar, CMS Energy, Dairyland Power and Price Electric cut the ribbon on the Flambeau Solar Project today, despite overcast skies. Rainy day today, so I thought I'd bring the sun. Dairyland Power's Craig Harms helped make the panels possible. Those panels crank out enough electricity for 600 homes. They provide power for farms, homes and businesses in the local area. There are 138 rows identical to this one on the site with a capacity to produce 2.5 megawatts, making it the largest solar array in the state of Wisconsin. The grid is actually the electrical conductor that... CMS Energy's Tim Mell chose solar-powered motors to move the panels to collect the most possible energy. So it knows the position of the sun at all times. And the Denzines know they'll see a reliable harvest of a different kind in their Price County farm field. The sun comes up every day, hopefully. We're covering the news in Phillips. Ben Meyer, Newswatch 12. Vermont-based Grow Solar designed and built that solar array. It's owned by Michigan's CMS Energy, and Dairyland Power, headquartered in La Crosse, distributes the energy through the Price Electric Cooperative. 